was good in the first game. You haven't seen shit. You wanna talk about improvement? Holy fucking shit, you have no idea. Oh my fucking god, this masterclass in video game design. Holy fuck, where do I begin? First off, the sprites, which are animations by the way, are way fucking better than the first game. Second off, they got more mechanics for combat for like shurikens. Holy fucking shit, the combat has improved. I'll admit, it's a little bit more mechanically heavy at first. It's still more refined here though. God damn, when I found Leo's katanas, I was like, damn, those attack moves hit so fucking hard. You wanna talk about video game ambition? This shit is from the early 2000s, people. Damn, they fixed the child attack. It no longer requires specific timing, which was good for skill, but this is better. It's more accessible. Damn, you see the fucking shit. This is what the fuck I'm talking about. Man, this combat works so well. Those animations are badass as hell. They work so fucking well. God damn, animation, movement, mechanics, combat, all 2D motherfucker. Don't think. You know these games are way better than these new shitty triple-A console games. Overrated, overhyped pieces of shit. Bad mechanics, terrible movement. Look at this brilliant shit. Unlike the GameCube and PS2 counterpart, shurikens are limitless. More movement and platforming. More stuff and interactivity in a portable 2D platform. How and why the fuck you thought this deep? Game devs, who knows? Thank goodness you did. Holy shit, you can interact with the environment. That's what the fuck I'm talking about. You don't have to actually find a weapon. You start off with your shurikens. You can use the weapon to climb shit too? Holy fuck. Your special attacks still take health though. Just like the previous game. Not only do you have more attack moves in the previous game, even the GameCube version and the PS2 version don't have this many moves. But yes, not only do you have more attack moves, but the shit is smooth and silk. This kind of... This might as well be a console game. Usually on those are this smooth. The combination of attack moves, plus the charge attack and animations, create smooth and refined gameplay that is addictive as fuck. Oh! That sound design is so good! Oh! That combat system is so good! Oh! Oh my god! They fucking killed me with that shit! Man, brilliant ass video game devs! Holy fuck, these game devs kick ass! I wonder if they're still on Twitter. I love to post them for this animated shit. If you move long enough, the automatic express. That smooth and silk animation, oh my goodness. Fun fact, I was in the fourth grade during class. During CRCTs, I played the badass bonus game mode they have. A hoverboard mode. I would sneak during CRCT testing period and pull out the Game Boy under my desk. Such good fucking memories. And I played that hover mode endlessly. Over and over. And yes, y'all out there, they have a hover mode. Racing mode. And it's fucking, it's so fucking smooth. And addictive. And fun and compelling as shit. Platforming animations are so fucking good. Here, you have to beat enemies and put in a car into a door to unlock it. If you have to sneak and interact with the environment to avoid enemies, what the fuck? What is this? A full-blown console game? Are you serious? Damn! They thought that deep. You realize this is on Game Boy, right? The revolutionary piece of technology. Damn! It's good as shit. Fuck! The animation sprites look better than its GameCube and PS2 counterpart. To be honest, even the artistic direction. This is a brilliant platforming for an old school game. Look at all the features, gameplay mechanics, stuff in the environment, hazards, enemies, environmental interactivity, the platform, so much stuff, and this small 2D beat up platformer can either climb the fucking walls with your weapon, Ralph climbs using his weapons, holy fuck, you can climb multiple objects as well, the game rewards you for platforming by giving you special items and health, even your own weapons, and you start off with no weapons unlike the first game. Here goes one of the best elements of this game that I mentioned earlier. The memories I have with this game mode. The soundtrack. Oh shit! Race mode. Which bitch? It had an online, believe it or not. Sh holy shit! This mode was so good. It was fun. It was so real, bro. It felt so real. It's mechanics and movement. That shit was smooth as fuck. That song, bro. Oh, oh. 
This event was so addicted. It was so much fun. One of the main highlights of this game is this game mode alone. This shit could have been its own game, separate from the main game. Even the GameCube and PS2 version did not have this. Not that I know of. I had to double check, but I don't think so. Dude, the memories of the gameplay, the movement, the music, the shit is what this is. This game, bro, this game is a masterpiece of video game design. Thank you for watching. If you made it this far, this was Terragon. I'd love to contact the game devs on Twitter. Let them know how great this is. They got skills, man. But were they thinking the right stuff? They were thinking the right stuff. Well, anywho, I love y'all, man. 180 subs. I'm so proud, and I'm glad you guys are here. Thank you for your support. And I am now out of this piece.